everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the sixth episode of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. Uh, last episode we got to be put on this like work uh, adventure, work like visit kind of thing. But uh, unfortunately, due to a long bathroom break from Ichikawa, we've kind of been uh, split up from the rest of our adventuring party. It's just him and Yamada, so it'll be interesting to see where things go from here now that we've kind of like off the beaten path. So yeah, let's jump on in and find out. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and support me on Patreon for early access and, and whatnot. So, let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. They left you behind. <coughs> and the door is shut, and you're left behind. Sayonara. Yep. And <laughs> 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 yeah, this is his lucky skip that moment. But she clearly feels bad though. <laughs> like it's not that big of a deal. It's it's okay, Yamada. <laughs> <coughs> I think you're um, reading too much into it. I think she just feels bad that it's her fault that you got into this mess. If I had a guess, but I, I can't read women, so. And I definitely can't read Yamada. Present for her to make her feel better. It really hurts my soul to see her cry like that. <laughs> Ichikawa trying to be all cool. Do you feel better now? <laughs> well, that's a face. <laughs> I think she's happy. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, like, it's no one's fault in particular, like, mistakes were just made. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Safe distance. <clears throat> Sorry for the coughing. Sensei, I gotta go to the bathroom, just making sure everyone knows, okay? Just, just so we're all clear on that, I'm... I got to release some bodily fluids from my body before we go anywhere else, okay? So just please wait for me. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Yamada just so silly, though. Imagine you just fall a far, far distance and you just land in Yamada's hair. What a relief that would be. The height difference between the two of them will always be amusing to me. Like, it is always just in my head, in my mind's eye. I just imagine her just, like, picking him up and Princess carrying him. Like, we, we need some more of that in the show. Oh. 
Hopefully nobody causes a scene. That we've now set that up as a possibility. And I want to stay close to her. <laughs> Don't leave my side, boy. Don't make me... Don't make me cabadone you again. So you can't leave. Especially now, yeah. <laughs> Keep your balance. Don't squish him. Yeah, that, that would be something. Oh. Okay, then. I feel like she's trying to drop some hints here. <laughs> I like how she just has a hold of that backpack. Like, basically an embrace in it. <laughs> it's like, what did you say again? Hey, there they are. We weren't separated too long. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry I left you. <laughs> Didn't notice we have missing a third of our members. <laughs> that was a great group to call me there. We survived though, we had fun. <laughs> Please don't talk with a mouthful. She, she has some slight Kusogaki energy, I must say. Just, just slight. Skoshidake. That's a possibility. They still, they still never said that. Go. Hello, what's your name again? You know, just... <laughs> uh, stop criminal scum. <laughs> Did I get caught on something? <laughs> Good, good, good morning, Yamada Chun. <laughs> can I can I go now? First, she grabs the backpack, not the bike. Oh, that's definitely some shoujo manga right there. <laughs> that looks so so girly, just. I would not read that. Okay, maybe we shouldn't spoil too much. <laughs> it did kind of sound like it. <laughs> She's so damn cute. Something volume three. <laughs> she was waiting for you, Baka. Because she was giving you the manga. <laughs> it can't be that dense, right?
That's what I mean by Japanese being a very context-based language, because all they said was ino, which could be taken a lot of different ways. Especially considering there was a misunderstanding there. <laughs> he milked. What an abbreviation. <laughs> I let you have it, you better read it, damn it. She's going for the tackle. The soft tackle. Will you read it now? But you better make sure to read it. Because you didn't want her to leave. <laughs> I, 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 I suppose. She declares pretty confidently. <laughs> I bet you do. I keep every time I read that part, I keep thinking Kinyiro like Kinyiro mosaic. I know it's a very different word, but oh, that's uh, that's Yamato's book, all right. As we get an indirect kiss from Crumbs. <laughs> like a ghost just kind of pops up. <laughs> yeah, she'll do it too. Yeah, can't have people, my classmates, see me reading such a thing. People just pop up out of nowhere. <laughs> I, I mean, we're friends. What do you want me to tell you? I wouldn't jump to conclusions. Me. She has a work in progress one called called me. Went from girl on girl, koi banashi to guy on guy. I I have no words. I don't I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Yeah, those legs, though. Do you have anything to say at all about her personality? But, uh... Yeah, I think the main takeaway is... Uh, is Ichikawa actually likes her. And he just, you know...
has a very service level attraction. <laughs> but judging by that guy's logic, if <sighs> Nuki Gay is made by consistent of women you can't be in love with. This is what they do to pass the time. <laughs> Understandable. You know, I at least agree with him on the legs, you know. Is she looking at someone? No. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, that look that <laughs> he kind of beat me to it, but <laughs> but of course, that look where the world is ending had to do with freaking food in the library. <laughs> yeah, it's a mystery. <laughs> She, you're not a joke. She is so cute. I can never tell how serious she is at any given moment. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to suspect our friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I died. They turned the wrong way. Couldn't read it in time. <laughs> Are you okay? B breathe at least. Does he have the manga in front of another book? Murder Encyclopedia. <laughs> yeah, she is not. She is not to be deterred. Some things are worth the risk. Oh, that looks like a teacher right there. Uh, should hurry up and swallow all the food. <laughs> what are we going to do here? What is he going to do? Is he going to try to block, block her sight? Like get in, the, in between the two of them? Or... <laughs> and there we go. Roll credits. <laughs> How dare these youngsters just hold hands in the library? They think this is a hotel or something. <laughs> but that was pretty good, though. I mean, it's it, it got the... It did the job. <laughs> oh, we made a big old mess of her hand after that. 
<laughs> Would you like me to lick that clean? No, she's got it. <laughs> she can lick herself just fine. <laughs> Every time I turn around, we hear more slurping sounds. Are you calling me fat? I mean, we're at, we're halfway half through the show, man. Nothing's over. There she is, same spot. <laughs> and there's the snacks hidden beneath the book, all stealthy like. <laughs> A whole third, I guess that's progress. <laughs> I never want her to. I melted it. <laughs> uh, stretchy, stretchy. <laughs> <coughs> we need more of her sitting on her lap. Like, I still think about the part in episode one or two, whichever it was, when, um, they were usually sitting like that, but then she sits on Yamada's lap, and we have a couple seconds to pause, and then she's just like, oh moi, you know, complaining about how heavy she is, <laughs> even though she's lighter than she is, you know. That scene's been living rent-free in my head ever since. I didn't do it. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, is that why she kept handing him trash? If he could throw it away somewhere other than the library? <laughs> one man's trash, one girl's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> non dead, non dead. Yeah, I'd rather not answer that <laughs> if, if it's all the same to you. But, uh, okay, that was the sixth episode of Boku no Kokoro no Yebahayatsu. Another, another, another good episode, for sure. Early on, we were still dealing with the whole separation uh, issue, but, but uh, you know, <laughs> uh, his name is Ichika Ichikawa. Uh, Ichi or Ishi, I keep having to uh, keep trying to forget. Ichi, uh, Ichikawa. He, uh, he saw how upset she was, and he made sure to go to the vending machine, get the drink that she wanted, and she seemed to feel much better after that. She seemed to very much appreciate the gesture, but uh, also got some uh, backpack hugging on the on the train. You know, why not? And got everyone reunited, and everything just kind of worked out. Definitely the, our uh, leader, a little bit apologetic about the whole thing, but like I said, it's not really one person's fault. Just mistakes are made here and there, you know. But uh, it's not not a, not a bit not too big of a deal in the end. We had a very brief shot of him with the family, so you know, that was nice to get that. I don't think we've really gotten any of uh, Yamada's family, have we? Like I assume she has parents and whatnot, but I don't think we've seen any any family aside from just his family. Like even before now, I don't, I don't think we even saw his mother. I know we saw the sister before because they they were at like a fast food restaurant or something. But uh, this may be the this may have been the first episode where we saw his mother, but. 
I do want more of the sister. You know, she's pretty great. But... <laughs> and yeah, then we have the scene where Yamada's waiting outside the school for him. I like the comment about, is she a gym teacher or something? <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where, like... If you have to have watched a lot of anime to really find that line funny. <laughs> but yeah, I, but I, I, I did. So she's clearly waiting for him so to give him the manga so he, so he can read it. And yet he just like, just doesn't seem to get it. You know, <laughs> like that was a bit of an awkward scene for sure. But she definitely wants him to read it. <laughs> like nagging him a little bit about it, even though she just gives him spoilers <laughs> like it's no big deal. Which, you know, spoilers are a funny thing like that. Where you do have people on the internet that will like maliciously say them to intentionally try to ruin some random person's experience. But on the flip side of that, you have people giving spoilers just because they're so excited about what they're what they read, what they watched, and they want you to experience it too, and they they, they want to talk about it. You know, they don't really see it as harming your experience when they're like in the rush of talking about something that, you know, they're that they're they like, they're happy about, you know. And uh, Yamana definitely falls into that category. And it's hard to really be mad at those kind of people. Uh, but we did have uh, Adachi, I think, is, was that one, right? I want to double check on that real quick. Adachi show, I think that's him. I'm pretty sure that's him, yeah. Anyway, we had him, we talked to, talking to him a little bit about Yamada, right? But, like, <laughs> I'm not too worried about any of this because, obviously, the, the real ship here is between Ichikawa and Yamada. Like, there, there's no chance of anything else really happening in the show. Been, and the conversation there made it even more clear, but gotta love some of the logic of that's the logic of that boy. But also the sign, the sign scene was so good because we saw Yamada looking very distraught. We had a little bit of sweat on the on the face, a, a, a look of just horror, <laughs> just general horror as she's out loud asking what she's gonna do. I'm sitting here like worried, like what the heck happened, like. Did someone just threaten her or something? Like, what? Is your life in danger? What's what's going on here? And then they showed the sign, no eating at the library. Uh, I, can, I can almost feel something break inside of me once I saw that stupid sign. <laughs> because, of course, that's um, that's what gets her. I do like how the no part, the kinshi part, is red to really, you know, get the point across. But <laughs> that was that was great, though. I do want to go back to the Yamada joke part as well. Was that, was that like right after that? I think it was before they left for the library. Yeah, I was right about here. They're basically talking about how obvious it was. They didn't need a sign, you know, like why did they put the sign up? Nobody eats in here and all that. And we had like, again, a couple seconds of pause as uh, we get the kind of Tsukumi from Ichikawa and then, then Yamada trans transitions over to like, a, you know, a, a laughing and everything face. That was just so good. I don't have the words to do it justice how cute and funny that scene was. But <laughs> that was just peak Yamada right there, Yamada silliness. So, <clears throat> as always, I have trouble completely understanding her as a character. She's just such a unique little snowflake. Unique big snow snowflake. <laughs> she always keeps you guessing and wondering what the heck she's going to do or say next. <laughs> but... But she tries to be a bit more sneaky with the snacks, you know, by the, by the, end, by the end of the episode. We had a little uh, hand-holding as, as a cover, so the teacher doesn't see the snack, but instead just thinks there's a random couple in the library <laughs> being all lovey-dovey. But, which she clearly did not, was not a fan of. But, I always wondered why the heck she would always hand her trash to uh, the Ichikawa, but I think we finally got her answer on that. I mean, although maybe it was obvious before, but... Yeah, if she if she if she if she's intentionally avoiding throwing away snacks of uh, wrappers in the in the in the library because she doesn't want to leave evidence behind that someone's been eating in the library, right? Uh, she just gives it to him so he can throw it away for her somewhere else, you know. Like that that does make a bit more sense now, I guess. Maybe I was supposed to figure that out most, several episodes again ago, but you know, I never quite picked up on that. But it, it all kind of makes sense now. I think that's about all I got to say on the episode. I do at some point we get to meet Yamada's family and whatnot. Although, also, yeah, just, uh, I guess I should say Ichikawa, like, again, we're making real progress towards, you know, becoming a couple. Like, he's making good progress, working through his feelings, understanding how he, th how he feels about her. I mean, he literally hand, hand, -held, it, hand held her hand in the 
in the episode, you know, that, that says a lot, but it is good seeing him start to really understand the, you know, the Yaba Yatsu in this Kokoro. Like, we're, we're definitely getting there, so. You know, and also other people noticing there's something going on there, too, so. By the end of the season, I'm sure we'll be a, an official couple, but, but uh, yeah, good stuff, so. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next video. Uh, unless I accidentally click something I'm not supposed to. Anyway, bye-bye. Uh,